So, just saw a red cherry shrimp scamper up my filter. I just added those a couple days ago, and they live inside that little cave thing there. These are just some updates to what I've done to my tank. I've added some Elodea. There are my ravenous goldfish. I've also added four feeder guppies. You can see them there. There's a moss ball in there. A real one. <laughs> and there's some more Elodea over there. Some more guppies. You think I'm going to feed them again? You can see some more amazing growth on the Diffenbachia. And I've also added in right there some basil, which its roots look amazing. I just added it a couple days ago, or a couple weeks ago, and it had a small root ball on it, but all those ones shooting straight down are new. There's some ivy going on in there. You can see the side of the tank that those Diffenbachia roots have really gone all the way down to the gravel. It's been really amazing. And, of course, up top here, I have this ficus and this Schefflera, which have all kinds of growth on them. And in just a few days, I'm going to be adding some purple velvet seedlings to see how they do right down there. Which, inside there, I have uh, a couple earthworms. I have some variety of terrestrial snail, which I'm not sure what it is. And down, I also have uh, some slugs in there that just kind of showed up. And down in the main part of the filter here that you see, um, there are a large, large population of uh, pond snails helping to keep my filter clean. But I just wanted to do a little video update for everyone who's been following